Hi guys and welcome down to Wickham Heights Golf Course. I'm Craig Salter from Craig Salter Golf and today I have another training a review for you guys. So today I have the hangar. So what the hangar is basically is it attaches to your golf club. I'm going to show you in a second uh, and it's for it's basically the coat hanger drill if you've ever seen this uh, but it's, a, it's designed to go on your golf club so it's a little bit easier to use a uh, nice little club face here as well to give you a bit of help with where the club face is and stuff like that and it's for lead wrist flexion basically so making sure you don't get flippy with your wrists especially at the top this uh this will help you get into those dj positions whereas his wrists uh, uh, nice and straight or a little bit bowed rather than having them cupped like this which will give you all sorts of problems in your swing. So guys to set up the hanger itself there's two clips one at the bottom one at the top that go onto your golf club so I've got this in a six iron so I'm just going to place the top on the very butt of the club and the bottom one sits just below bot at the bottom of the grip. You're going to make sure that you line it up so that this club face matches that club face at the bottom you can clip it into the little clips and then you can tighten it up. Doesn't need to go overly tight, but tight enough that it's not going to move. So all the hanger is, is a plastic sort of arc here with a club face at the bottom that attaches to your golf club. So the idea is that I grip it as normal and you can see here, if I just show you here, that this sort of rubber green plastic here can sit against the inside of my forearm. So the idea, the way, when I swing back, I'll show you from this angle actually, there we go, that the hanger itself pushes against that forearm. So if I'm at the top here, let me just get you in position, and I'm cupping my wrist, so if I'm doing that, you can see that the hanger moves away from my forearm and doesn't touch it, it's touching nothing at the moment. So what I want to make sure is that my lead wrist is nice and straight and parallel with my forearm, so I'm pushing the hanger against the inside of my forearm. So as I make a swing down, I try and keep that hanger pushed against my forearm, which gets me into a nice impact position here, where my hands are leading and the club face is following. If I come to about here and start getting flippy, you can see that the hanger pushes away and pushes against my other forearm okay and again the club face is leading rather than the ha my hands leading so all it is is a sort of a feedback thing to feel I've got the club face for alignment here as well to make sure that I can not you know opening or closing my club face I'm going to swing to the top making sure I'm pushing that against keeping it pushed against all the way through through impact and then I can rotate and finish off so I'm just going to hit a nice six iron here now and all I'm going to focus on is that after my setup is that I'm pushing my forearm against that hanger making sure it stays there through contact I'm rotating my body leading with my hands and then I'm going to go to a nice full follow through. Nice little feedback for this again this is another great product that you can use at home you don't have to be hitting golf balls with it you could just swing indoors making sure that you feel that against your forearm. So all I'm going to do now is make a nice smooth swing, making sure that I'm pushing that hanger against my forearm as I swing through, hands lead, club face is square, rotate my body, a nice full follow finish through. There we go, nice full swing, making sure that my forearm was leading there. So guys, that is the hanger. A couple of points I really love about this. Really good for that lead wrist, making sure that it stays nicely in flexion and you're not, and you're not cupping. Also, it can go on any club. So I can use this on my pitching wedge to start with. Nice small swings. I can move on to my six iron like I've got it and I can push it onto my driver if I need to. You can take it anywhere again, you can use it on the course, you can use it on the range, you can use it at home, you don't need to be hitting golf clubs, you can just get that feeling at home of just keeping that wrist in a really nice position so you're leading with your hands. 
So thank you very much guys for checking out the video. Don't forget to like this video, comment below whether you use the hanger or any other training aids that you find really helpful. And I will catch you next time.